I took off the intake manifold cover, the belt covers for that just because I was bored the other day and I sprayed them but it was quite the debacle. Um, they're textured so I primed them. The primer laid fine and when I did color the primer was just soaking up color and they were turning pink uh, like really bad faded pink so uh, we washed them, prepped them and then uh, sanded, scuffed them up a bit, primed them again and uh, shot them with a little bit thicker paint, different type, and now they just got clear. Uh, last night I uh, filled in the letters with some white enamel paint and sanded the top so it came off black. It looks pretty okay to me. Uh, they should be ready to go back on the car. So I threw these on, it didn't take long at all. Um, yeah, I think they turned out pretty okay. Uh, no runs in them, so that's plus. You know, there's a couple little specks of dust. Uh, I don't really care about that. Um, they probably would have matched the parent inlet a lot better, but the parent inlet started to turn pink. Probably heat and whatnot. And I think I need to trim it too. I just adjusted it, but there's not much clearance between this belt and this uh, inlet. So I might take off a little bit right here and get that closer, but... Do something. Be boosted. Three topping carry up deal to all day, every day. And so <laughs> and eight dominoes. Woo! We must ask for this limited time offer. Prices, participation, and charges may vary. <laughs> It's in there. Oh, the fun part of putting this grenade pin in it. All right, Lottie, I'll let you go when you're busy. Okay, I'll talk to you I'll later. You. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye.
I took the RX-7, that was worth it. The one they gave you right off the bat. The FD? Yeah. Yeah. Just because I knew I was going to use it. Oh no, should have charged the camera. It might be too thin too. Holy shit. That's a good thickness. Uh. Is there like an in-between? What's next to it? Oh, I didn't say anything. We're at Menards. We're gonna buy some acrylic sheeting to make a airbox cover. Or an airbox in general. That's not terrible. What, you need one more? No. I'm gonna keep the front open. This side will be protected by the car. This will be the back. And then this will be the other side. And I'll probably. And this use... is gonna be open? Well, yeah, I wanna keep it open for air. But I wanna oh, build, I wanna build just, like a lip uh... here, though, for the front of it. All it's got to do is keep the water out. Gotcha. And I'll maybe drill a couple drainage holes in it. Okay. Get it, penguin. <laughs> Actually, you can go on the other side of it. All right. Objective take off Kyle's bumper for the umpteenth time. Thundercats, go. Zzz. It's a Bax. Yeah. The air compressor. do a check on Callie. Callie's here doing sandblasting shit, as you can hear. Hey!
trying to get some quick footage of things that I've done in the last couple of days. Uh, I did a lot of cleaning and I wasn't here. I was trying to get some basic maintenance done and I wanted to do it quick so we didn't really film it, but uh, um, my good friend Andy was here. He was working on his Suburban, putting Pittman arms and idler arms and whatnot in it, uh, getting ready for winter. I was doing stuff with the BRZ, um, painting whatnot. You probably saw that already. Yesterday, I got pretty bored and I've been thinking about a lot of like Brad's stuff over here and how he's getting ready for the Legacy and it is gonna hopefully get a, a WRX swap. Uh, that's the goal, we have a 2.0 sitting over there, uh, fresh heads, a trans. Um, we He needs a few things yet but I had this old uh, pipe with a flange or a flange with a pipe, however you wanna look at it. And I didn't really show you guys, but I uh, put a hole in it on the wastegate side and threw on some thicker wall tubing off of an old header. I recycle everything, and yeah, the welds aren't great. Uh, ever since the break-in, I lost the Lincoln, so I've been using this crappy Chicago Electric, which if anybody knows, these are Harbor Freight junkers. They're really not good for much, um, but I had that laying around. So you know some flex core boogers and I played with you know the temp a little and wire speed and it didn't really clean up until of course I got to the back side which is the side no one sees. Go figure I should have maybe started there. Uh, the hole is, it's kind of strange. Um, I didn't have a hole saw for it that size and I'm kind of broke. So um, you know I did a bunch of little holes with the little bit and then worked my way up. Got it about the shape, did a lot of filing, some dremeling. And I put a ridge in here so the pipe can actually fit into the flange but doesn't go all the way through. So there's kind of a seal in there. And then I weld this together. Um, yeah, I know the angles are a little different. This is not going to dump. Uh, if you know the VF turbos, it's not external. It's an internal wastegate. So this would just be pure Subaru noise, uh, exhaust noise all together. So I'm not doing that. This will, this will get, uh, I'm gonna cut that straight get some more pipe this size I have some but it's not as thick as I would hope just for um, or not not as thick as I would want just for uh, heat purposes and then this will get uh, welded and fitted and I'll shape it to kind of match that one and this will get routed into the main pipe which will come off and then I, I do have a bun for an O2 which we will run and I also have a few um, like uh, temp sensor ports they're like uh, almost like a tiny O2 bun, and uh, they just go in here. I probably won't use both, probably just one up top here in case we ever throw a temp sensor in to check like exhaust gas temp and whatnot. So uh, that's the plan. Uh, just kinda getting practice in, monkeying around. I'm, I am gonna clean this up a little bit, and I might even weld the inside with a quick bead and then pour it just cause there is, you know, a little bit of a gap and it, it probably won't hurt it at all. But uh, yeah, you know my, not too shabby. It'll work pretty well, I think. Nice little divorce pipe. as good as penetration as I could get with this piece of crap. Uh, there must have been something really dirty on that side because it started to not go so hot. Uh, I also, you know, use a little bit of this on nozzle gel. Not really. I've noticed for the few, few couple little uh, welds, it usually cleans it up pretty good, but as it heats up, you know, it runs out and then I probably should stop and juice it some more, but whatever. Uh, I'm probably going to port that anyway. I just wanted to fill that ridge in and we'll clean this up. Like I said, I cleaned up the back side uh, quite a bit, you know, tried to get it as flat as possible. 
and not you know um, not too of an aggressive bite on the wheel or anything just something to take all the debris off and make sure it stays decently flat around at least this edge there's still like a small indent of where the old gasket was and I kind of used that as an outline and then uh, took all the little barbs off and whatnot from the piping didn't really touch the outside too much just clean these boogers up a little bit um, just because they were bothering me so looks a little bit better